Here is an excellent problem on application of dot product. We'll try to find vector components with the help of dot product, right? I'll appreciate if you go through this video carefully and understand the concept. Question C7. Express the vector a, 5 minus 2, 5, as sum of two vectors such that one is parallel to the vector b, 3, 0, 1, and the other is perpendicular to vector b, right? So now, as said in the question, vector a is to be split into two vectors, a1 and a2, right? So that one of them is parallel to b and the other one is perpendicular. So let us say that a1 is parallel to b, right? In that case, a1 is equals to some constant times b. So that is the relation. So we can say a1 is equals to k times 3, 0, 1, right? So that is the value of a1 for us. Now if a1 is this, then what is a2 equals to? So a2 should be equal to a minus a1, vector a minus a1, correct? Vector a is given to us as 5 minus 2, 5. And a1 is this vector. So we can write a2 as vector a, which is 5 minus 2 and 5. Minus a1, that means minus this. So minus 3k minus 0 minus k. So that becomes our vector a2, right? Let me give equation numbers here so that becomes easier for us to communicate. So this is equation number 1 relating to a1 and here we get equation number 2 which will give us the value of a2. Now another condition which is given to us is that these two vectors a1 and a2 are perpendicular. Now since they are perpendicular a1 and a2 are. Now another condition given to us is that the vector a2 is perpendicular to b. That means, so now we will use the concept that a2 is perpendicular to vector b, right? So we'll get another equation from here and then solve. a2 is 5, we'll write down. That means dot product between a2 and b is 0, right? So we get 5 minus 3k minus 2 and 5 minus k dot b is 3, 0, 1 is equals to 0, right? So what is the dot product here? So we just multiply by 3 and get our equation. So we can write equation right here now. So 3 times 5 minus 3k minus that is 0. Let me write 0 here. And this is times 1. So plus 5 minus k equals to 0. So that is 15, oh, 15 minus 9k plus 5 minus k equals to 0, which is 15 plus 5 is 20 minus 10k equals to 0. And that gives us k value as 2. So we get k as 2. Now, from equation 1 and 2, we know what vectors a1 and a2 are, right? So we can now write down k is 2. So we have our answer right there. That vector a1 is equals to 2 times 3, 0, 1. That means it is 6, 0, 2. And as far as a1 is concerned, so a1 is equals to, let me push the page a bit further. Or let me write it here. Let me write it here, right? So let me first write down what a1 is for us. a1 is 2 times this, which is 6, 0, and 2. And a2 is equals to, we'll put k as 2, right? So we get 5 minus 6 minus 2 and 5 minus 2, right? That is, a2 is equals to, 5 minus 6 is minus 1, minus 2, 
and 3. So that is A2 for us and that is the answer, right? I hope you find this example interesting. Share your comments with us. Thank you.